Brian Powell of Iron Far here with the Gediminas Greenius after his third place finish at the 2016 Vibram Hong Kong 100K. Was this what you were expecting? <laughs> Actually not, you know, like, it's very strange because there was a lot of good athletes here and you know, you in ultras you cannot predict and in this case, you know, like, with this strong field it was even impossible to predict even more because, like, you know, you never know what happens on the ultras. And with a weather like this, you know, it's like, it's terrible. And, you know, so I didn't expect it. But then I started to run, you know, usually after 5Ks, I feel good or bad. And after 5 hey, I felt good. So I started to run faster and faster. And, mm -hmm. you know, the first part is more, more or less flat. So where I came from is flat country. So it was my strength and I started to push, you know. And, Luckily, I finished. So you were pushing and you were running more or less with Francois and uh, Jan for a while? Early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the LSH, I was running with them, basically, and a few other guys. I don't know the names. I believe one was Nepalese and okay. uh, I don't know. Yeah, but basically, I was running with them. And, of course, on the, I don't remember which ascent, the Francois is better climber and you know, long pace, a good runner. So they left me and I was basically was running all by myself. Now, were you, you were alone for a long time. Were you thinking more about catching the guys ahead of you or not getting caught by the people behind you? Uh, you know, my wife supports me and usually in the aid station, she tells me what to do because she is like more fresh and she knows better how to adjust the tactics. So she already told me, you know, and I don't remember which aid station, but don't think about the guys in front because they are like 15 or 20 minutes in front of me. So, and she said that how, Cape is like eight minutes behind me, so I was thinking about Pau Cape and you know how to uh, get rid of him, you know, and run fast <laughs> and the last race. Did you find some strength late in the race? I actually I felt good all the time, you know, just my speed on the sense was slower than the front side and long pay. Yeah. But I felt real good, so I didn't have the problems with the strength. And I noticed, you know, like in the long, in all these ultras that like usually on the like marathon bench you know like 40 something kilometers i'm losing the power but like after 5k i'm feeling good again and i can push so this happened this time as well so how do you train for the mountains i mean because you've had success at mountain ultras how do you train for that in such flat country i am doing a lot of repetitions because you know we have still some hills so i'm running on these hills so in 20k i can collect 1000 meters you know and if I'm doing repetitions on the same mountain, you know, so like I can do it in 15k, 1000. And I'm doing a lot of gym training, you know, mm -hmm. like squats or box training, you know, just jumping or climbing, just trying to imitate the climbing. So you do cross train? Yeah, I do cross training. Um, you couldn't have expected weather this cold. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, actually nobody expected because I believe in Hong Kong is the coldest day, I don't know, in many, many, many years. <laughs> so, you know, and you know, back in Lufina, the strange things that I did the heat adaptation because uh, it's supposed to be hot here, you know, and everybody said the humidity and the heat, so it should be hot and warm. And I did some heat training, which basically was worthless. Yeah. Did you feel cold out there? <laughs> yeah, I felt cold. Uh, what does your season look like ahead? Where are you focusing on? Um, I'll have a few races, but my A races will be UTMB and Reunion, so at the end of the season. But like in a few weeks, I'm going to race Gran Canaria, then Lavaredo, and then comes UTMB and Diagonal Lefus. So the longer and harder, the better this season. Yeah, I, I like longer races because you can run slower and. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Have, I think that I don't have a speed. So for me, longer races works better. Yeah, I mean, you say you don't have speed, but that's because you're comparing yourself to somebody who's a, you know, like Yan Longfei is a yeah. two teen, low teens marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, like sometimes in ultra it you know, doesn't matter because it's like, yeah. Day on the floor, you don't need to be. Yeah, you don't need to be so, so fast. But. Just strong. Well, yeah. you showed you were strong today, Gedeminas. Good to Thank see you, you and see you later this season. See you.